since we're confused on careless or reckless, let's talk about careless and reckless. So let's open our manuals to page 35. So let's just be real super quick. So Dakota, can you read me that first one there? The first thing. Under careless and reckless. Careless driving confined as driving is tapping a motor vehicle in a way that endangers the lives and safety of people or property. Alright, and then someone read the next one. The next sentence. Reckless driving is defined as driving a motor vehicle while aware of and consciously disregarding a substantial and unjustifiable risk that the driving may result in harm to another or another's property, including racing or contest driving. Good job. So does that make sense though? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So moving on. Number five, you can park within 50 feet of a railroad crossing. False. false. Good. Why did we put false for that? Exactly. Yes, you can. Exactly. So, number six, kind of the same thing. You can park within 10 feet of a fire hydrant. False. Good job. I'm glad you put a false for that. Number seven, you must stop 30 feet back from a school bus when it has its flashing red lights and stop on them. False. Why did we put false? Good job. Number eight, your under 21 license expires at the age of 18. False. <laughs> exactly. Yep. So it's not going to expire when you're under that age. So. Okay, number nine. The definition for a pedestrian is any person on foot. Yeah. A ramp or meter is a signal light used to control traffic flow. True. Yeah. Where do you typically see that? But we don't see that up here. No. Like, 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 but like, like location like down towards the city, like metro area. Oh, we don't really typically have those around here. Um, a yield sign may require you to stop when entering a highway or freeway. False. That's true. Uh, you should never um, slow down or stop when entering on a freeway because it might cause an accident. Yep, yeah, All right, number 12. If your engine overheats, you should remove the radiator cap to relieve the pressure. No. Oh. Why did you say no? Why did you say yes? Why is it no? Because it will like, slow down your foot. So. Oh, right. Nice. You should wait about 20 minutes before doing that. They don't want you to do that right away. All right, number 13, turning left on a red light is never allowed. False. Why is that false? You can go from a one-way to a one-way. One way. Yep, good job, guys. 14, speed limit 40 means that you must always drive 40 miles an hour. False. Right, because it's the weather, road conditions, to drive the basic speed law. Yep. Number 16, a blind, oh no, sorry, 15, a no passing zone sign is on the right side of the road. Where is it? Oh. Left. Oh. Left. Number 16, blind crossing means, or signs, are crossing areas for the blind. False. Why is that false? They're blind. They can't see it. <laughs> no. There's actually a different reason why that they're not for the blind. It's because the drivers can't see the crossroad for, like, far enough back. So that means that they're, there's something in the way. <laughs> There could be like a grove of trees, like things like that, or like a bend in the road, so you're not going to be able to see that for sure. Does that make sense? Yeah, you can't see the edge. Right. So number 17, a slow-moving vehicle sign is for a vehicle that travels a maximum of 40 miles an hour. False. Oh. And what is the actual speed? Like 30 miles, miles per hour or less. Yep, good job, guys. Number 18, hydroplaning is a condition caused by driving too fast on wet roads. True. True. Tire treads need to be at least one sixteenth of an inch deep. True. That is true. Twenty. When driving down a steep hill, it's okay for you to put your car in neutral and coast down the hill. No. False. 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 Yeah, that would be really silly. Oh, that would be very dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> Number twenty-one. Pedestrians have the right of way only if they are crossing in a marked crosswalk. True. Oh. That's true. 
always you. Right. So, okay, let's find another one. It's always your right home. So, like, I decide I'm going to go to cross the road there. They have to stop. They don't have to. Like, I could get a jaywalking, but always, that should always have to right there. 22. We're coming out of an alley. You must stop before crossing the sidewalk. True. True. Yep. 23. When you see a funeral procession, you must yield to them and give them the right of way. True. True. 24. When backing up on a freeway, you should continue to look out your rear window until you are done. Oh. Why is that false? You, you can't, can't back, back up on a freeway. Good job. Yep, that's answers in court. All right, 25. If you have a green light, you do not need to look both ways before crossing the intersection. False. Oh. Good. Why is that false? You should always look if you see this clear. Yeah. 26. Minnesota's basic speed law states never drive faster than reasonable under existing conditions. That's true. True. 27. At an uncontrolled intersection, you must yield to the vehicles on the right. True. 28. Liquor of any type, including beer, wine, or hard liquor, cannot be carried inside any vehicle if the seal or the bottle has been opened. False. Oh. It's true. Logical false. Because <laughs> uh, you probably thought, like, like you can't can be drive, uh, be drinking, but other people in your car could be. No, that's so an open bottle. Everyone's no, as long as it's so if it's open, it must be in your trunk. Now, if it's unopened, you can carry it in the trunk or away from you. So, like, the side of the spot. So, like, back away, passenger side. Yep. Open carry. 29. Wearing a seatbelt while driving is required by law. True. 30. If you are under 18 years old, you must have your parents or guardian's approval to apply for a permit. True. That's true. 31. A motorized vehicle travel. A motorized bicycle travels a maximum of 30 miles an hour. True. 32. Even if you are 18 years old, you still need an instruction permit for six months. True. That's true. 33. To get a provisional license, you must be at least 17 years old. Oh. What is the age? 16. 16. Good job. 34. When you stop for a stop sign, you should be at least five feet back from the sign. Oh. Why is that false? That's How many feet is it? Two. Good job. 35. Maximum speed limit in Minnesota is 70 miles an hour. True. true. 36, you can enter a do not enter area if it's just for less than a block. False. 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 Good job. False. 37, alcohol is a stimulant drug. False. False. Good job. What is it? Depressant. Depressant. Good job. 38, if your tire blows out, you should quickly slam on your brakes and pull to the side of the road. False. False. That's correct. Yep, you remove your... What, so what do you do in that situation? your steering wheel or to get into the car's parking lot. Yep. Or it's safe. Out of the way of radio. Um, 39. Small objects hanging from your rear view mirror are okay. False. False. Not true. False. Yep. So why is that? Anything Smart. blocking your vision is illegal. That's correct. Because like it's an extra blind spot. But other people have it like they hang from They are illegal. They do. But like I mean, dice are They illegal. could get a ticket for that. Yep. Because it's another blind spot. Or I might not even get a ticket right now, but they'll be a warning. Okay, so you have so many days to get this thing over. Like so if a cop pulls you over and you have that like on your mirror, he could like give you a warning for that. Depends on the cop. Yep. But could you get a ticket for it? If I would say yes because they could give you a ticket for that. Okay. Um because yeah, it's another blind spot. So 40, when parking parallel to the curb, you should be within six inches of the curb. False. That's correct. How many inches should it be? 12, 12 inches. Good job. 41, when you change your legal name or address, you have 60 days to change your license. False. And why is it false? How many days? 30. Good job. When making your right turn, which is going around a curb, you should be within five feet of that curb. False. False. And why is it false? Because it's one and a half feet. If you're five feet away from the curb, yeah. You're yeah. Run over and you're yep. 43. Dirty headlights <laughs> can reduce the light output by as much as 75%. True. True. Good job, guys. Tail lights must be visible for at least 500 feet. True. True. That's true. 45. If your 
car breaks down on the highway, you should walk on the right side. Balls. Oh. Which side should you walk? The, the jump. The jump strap or whatever? Yep, the one facing it so you have time to react to whatever's coming at you. 46. Carbon monoxide fumes smell like gas. False. False. And what is it? What's the correct answer? Odorless. Odorless. Yep. 47. Historical site signs are blue and white. False. false. Why is that false? Orange can only be used for construction or work zones. False. No, that's true. Oh my Why did you think that? Why did you think it was false? Oh, the red flag. So you thought maybe there were no Yeah. Yeah, construction, so they're orange. So that's like visible by everyone. Yep. 50, a semi truck has more blind spots than a passenger car does. True. Mm -hmm. That is very true. And we have that handy little sign up here. Cars, you can typically see in front of you or behind you with skinny mirrors. You can't see your semi truck's mirrors or any other blind spots. 51, when going past a bicycle rider, make sure that you have at least three feet between the bike rider and your vehicle. True. Good job, guys.